Good afternoon. Welcome to today's webinar, Railroad Grade Crossing Accidents. A highway rail grade crossing is a location where a public highway, road, street, or private roadway, including associated sidewalks and pathways, crosses one or more railroad tracks at grade. There are approximately 220,000 railroad crossings in the United States, of which approximately 137,000 cross public roads. A collision between a train and a motorist at a grade crossing occurs approximately every two hours. Half of the crossing accidents happen where there are active warning devices, and more than 60% of the accidents occur where the train speed is less than 40 miles per hour. Approximately 20% of the accidents involve cars running into trains. During today's program, our presenter, Dr. Carl Berkowitz, We'll discuss components of a grade crossing, factors influencing highway railroad grade crossing safety, reducing highway railroad crossing incidents, and the future directions in railroad crossing safety. Principal topics I'm going to cover today are components of grade crossing, design considerations, and solutions. And as uh, was mentioned before, the, the the number of accidents, but when you look at the what's happened over the last two decades, there's been a decline of about 45% in the number of accidents that occur between trains and vehicle traffic. And we'll see why this is happening. Some of the factors that have been uncovered as to what influences the safety and, and what can cause accidents are such things as commercial driver safety and how well the, the driver is trained. Uh, how easy it is to see the locomotive, which we call locomotive conspicuity, uh, how reliable the motor vehicles itself, uh, as, as we're seeing uh, vehicles are getting better and better, less, uh, less defects, uh, they're operating uh, many, many more years without having failure, uh, how is the intersection designed, is there a clear line of sight down the track, what, how is the, the uh, crossing maintained, uh, in terms of uh, freight trains, is there reflectorization on the freight uh, rolling stock so it's easily visible at night? And of course, pedestrian safety. These are the keys to uh, a safe uh, railroad grade crossing. Uh, one can't help but pick up a paper every day and see uh, an accident that has occurred at a grade crossing. And here's just some examples of some of the recent grade course accidents that have been reported in the paper. Uh, despite everything that we've been doing over the last several decades in terms of trying to improve the railroad grade crossings, such as uh, improved signs, gates, early warning devices, uh, there's still many, many accidents. And these accidents are very costly and result in property damage, large medical bills, legal expenses, and in many cases, uh, unfortunately, people do not survive these accidents. There are, in the United States, a total of 211,000 accident, uh, grade crossings, I'm sorry, and this is a little bit uh, less than uh, Matt mentioned earlier, he mentioned 220,000, because every year there is a reduction in an, an attempt to reduce the number of grade crossings by closing some of the grade crossings. Uh, in terms of the number of grade crossings out there, 130,000 represent what are called public crossings, and the other 80 or so thousand are what we call private courses. Some of the safety issues that have been directly identified, and well, here you see in the picture below, somebody just uh, nonchalantly with their skateboard crossing the tracks. Uh, we see from time to time, and I've unfortunately witnessed this in my own community, where drivers drive around the gate, and uh, sometimes they're successful and sometimes they're not. Uh, except in the movies, uh, that's the only place that one should race the train, and that's in the movie. In real life, one should never try to race the train to a crossing. Uh, it's not unusual. It happens from time to time where vehicles and pedestrians are caught between, between the gates and on the track system. Sometimes we have stalled vehicles, and we've read about those not only in, uh, in the movies, but in real life, the vehicles do get stalled on the track. Uh, I just was uh, in, in conversation with an attorney where a person was crossing uh, in front of a train that had stopped 
and behind that train that stopped, a second train came, and you know what happened there. And one, you know, not expecting a train any time, I was out just the other day uh, investigating a, a railroad crossing, and I was taking pictures, and I maybe I was three, four feet off the right of way, and this train just creeped up on me. I never heard of the train, and fortunately it was going slow, and the uh, the train operator recognized me, even though I was at it right away, he did slow down for me. Remember, trains can't stop quickly, and whenever ever somebody crosses, uh, it should be at a designated crossing. Pedestrians uh, see some kind of glory in walking on railroad property. Uh, this is not a good idea. Uh, crossing should be at, at, at designated locations, and crossing tracks immediately after train passes, and sometimes uh, that second train is coming the other way. And one should never cross a, a, a crossing when when the gate is down. Uh, this is uh, something that seems almost logical, but uh, somehow people don't find it to be logical. Some of the root causes uh, of accidents at, at crossing are the type of hardware that's used, the vehicle, the visibility between the vehicle and the the train, the, the, geometry, the geometry of the crossing, the sight line, how conspicuous the train is, are there any obstructions such as vegetation, is it a large right-of-way with a number of tracks, uh, is it, is it, does the roadway cross flat or is it on a grade, and what are the general road conditions? These are some of the root causes. As Matt mentioned earlier, there's a crossing accident every two hours and that motorists are 40 times more likely to be killed uh, at a crossing than in any other uh, vehicle accident circumstance. Half of the accidents are where there are active warning devices, and, as, and more than 60%, as it was mentioned, of the accidents occurred where the speed is less than 40 miles an hour. And we talked about 20% of the accidents involve vehicles. One of the reasons that the, uh, in addition to the improvement of intersections, another reason that the crossing accidents have declined is because we reduce the number of crossings. And that almost seems like a no-brainer. You reduce the number of crossings, and of course you're going to reduce the number of accidents.